Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Hails to horns and hooves. This hoodie is awesome. Very comfortable pullover. Nice heavy ink. And Satan bust me down on the back. Killer shit. Sheep's Head Bay Cult Eternal. But watch my album of the year video and see why Horns and Hooves snagged that number one spot. We're going to be blasting the Druid Lord Anatomia split release on cassette via Gurgling Gore, I think. Extremely Rotten. Or somebody did this on a 7-inch. But I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that, please. But Mark Riddick did the artwork, which looks fantastic on both the Druid Lord side, the spine, and the anatomia side of things. Mark has a great way of drawing, like, liquefied corpses coming out of the dirt better than most artists in my opinion and when it comes to grim reapers i think he's also probably one of the best but you have druid lord with beyond putrefaction and horrid fate by anatomia horrid horrid I say it weird, I know. It's that fucking Pennsylvania accent, but uh now we're blessing the anatomia side of things just because it's anatomia and yeah. They fucking rule. And so does Druid Lord. Who, you know, have one of the best albums this year. Ah, uh, I know it's like right here. Ah, my bad. If I pull it out, I'm going to knock over a bunch of shit. I apologize. Fuck it. It's worth it. Ah, oh, good. Nothing even fell. But if you haven't heard Relics of the Dead yet, um, if you're one of those people that, you know, make year-end lists and shit, you probably should listen to this before you conclude your list because, uh, whoops. I know the vinyl version, like, just dropped and shit. So if you were waiting for the vinyl version that is available now, so I highly recommend this. I mean, the mixing job by Dan Lowndes alone is like fucking so just tight. And Hell's Headbangers did the full length. And also they had some uh, reissues on Gurgling Gore when it came to, um, where is it? It, it's some of their, um, oh, here it is. Oh, that's going to knock everything over. Ready for a loud noise? Nope, I got it. Ah! Only one fell. And it was what I was going for. Fuck yeah. But Druid Lord with Baron Blood and uh, Druid Death Cult, these two EPs. I think they were EPs or 7 inches. I, I forget off the top of my head. Yeah, like 7 inch. Drew a Death Cult. And look at these gorgeous tape cosmetics. And wait till you see the one we're going over right now. Because it's a killer split. And I know Anatomia do a lot of splits. And some are, you know, legit. They're better than others. It's just the way, you know, it is with a lot of bands, you know. Not everything is going to be, you know, the best. But I also liked how they put both band promo photos and the J card. Hails to Peter. Peter Slate. Sick guy. And same with uh, Takashi and Jun from Anatomia. 
I love that. I fucking seriously. The last full length. Oh my goodness. But then like, you know, they did this this really good split with uh here it is. With fucking Mausoleum on uh head split. And I forget who did the vinyl version, but like these three Anatomia tracks are awesome. And you get four mausoleum tracks. Yeah, I was gonna say I think Chris from uh Blasphematory drums on on this. He does. Yeah, he does. And I actually have a Blasphematory here's the new album on cassette right here. Respect NVNM, we're prepared for combat. But I'm going to put the Druid Lord side of things on. But if you're looking for some absolutely grade A top shelf death doom metal, this split 100% has all bases covered, including Ghost Runners. It's just straight to the point. But I know some folks, when it comes to like single song cassettes that are, you know, not really super long and stuff, like just single tracks. It's like, trust me, it's worth the money if you're a fan. And just look at that fucking cassette cosmetics. Gurgling Gore definitely, you know, putting the money in to make really sick shit for us consumers. So. You know, you got to understand this is a 7-inch turned into a cassette featuring semi-lengthy doomed death metal tracks. So you just have to kind of, you know, sometimes bite the bullet when it comes to releases like this, depending on how much you really love the bands. Because, like, the Spectral Voice Blood Incantation 7-inch, like... Before they did that reissue, like, I have the first press. That's how I have the poster. People were, oh my goodness, uh, like, $300 for a two-song 7-inch? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Crazy. So, thankfully, Extremely Rotten and, you know, shit that got reissued and, yeah. It's no longer a worry. I do need to get that on cassette. I remember when they toured with Demi Lich in 2018. I had it in my hand and I was like, eh, I have the 7 inch. I'm good. And now I'm just like, fuck. I should have just grabbed it because like now I, I, every time I go to see Blood Incantation, they don't have it. But just so you know, it's one of my just babies here when it comes to uh, 7 inches something I just keep very close to my heart and that is the original pay no more than $10 spectral voice blood incantation split here's how you could tell it's the original it's on this really thin paper you gotta kind of be careful. So, like, people were so mad that I hung that poster up. It's like, dude, sorry, I actually listen to my music. Like, it's not just going to sit there. But, like, this is a great example, you know, of a split that just has two songs and, you know, absolutely fucking kills. Like... Hands hands down, like, if I could compare this Druid Lord Anatomia split. I'm just comparing it to this just because, you know, it's pretty just dialed. But I would say it has more in common with, like, more death doom metal splits such as, you know, like, especially the Anhedonous Spectral Voice 7-inch. Like, having two of the best Death Doom bands 
you know, together, as well as the vast on spectral voice split. Killer shit. But, um, anyways, let's throw on some Druid Lord. And again, yes, it's only a single track beyond putrefaction, but less is more a lot of the time when it comes to doom death metal. Very cyanide ish. It's awesome. You hear that gloom? Very clean looking. It's got a little groove to it. combination the more I think about it if this is still in stock and I'm talking about the Druid Lord 7 inch or EP compilation if you were to get this as well as the new split with Anatomia you're getting a nice dose of Druid Lord with some of their top shelf shit get this and then, like I said, fuck, where did I put the full length? God damn it. Get that with the full length, and yeah, you can't fucking go wrong. There you go. And I'm trying to remember the name of Grotesque Offerings. I couldn't remember their uh, other record. And I forget if they have anything before that. I'm pretty sure they do outside of, you know, EPs and 7 inches. But that's a badass record too. But they really blew me away with Relics of the Dead. And thank you, Peter, for sending this early too. Because I got a good taste of this. And it's really enjoyable. And I have a feeling you'll be seeing it again pretty shortly. But also, these Gargling Gore reissues were amazing. And if you missed, I, I, I don't know if these are sold out or not. That's why I'm not just, I, I would just hit up Gargling Gore because there's a lot of gnarly shit coming out. Like, first off, if you didn't pick up Nunslaughter Denied, well, come on. Like, you, you that that's. I get it. Money's tight. It's the holidays. But if you're looking for some top shelf death doom and you want to make sure that, you know, you get your buddy or, you know, your lady friend or whatever, you know, a really sick stocking stuffer, literally, because a tape to me is like the perfect stocking stuffer now i don't get christmas presents from like my family like somebody will my birthday's january 3rd so i always kind of had like you know anybody that's watching this if your birthday is close to christmas you know exactly what i'm talking about like your christmas might be like kind of like boof like, like when you're a kid you know, like, especially when you're a kid, 
it's like, oh man, like I guess I gotta wait for my birthday. And it's no big deal, like especially when you get older, but sometimes it's like, oh man, I can't wait. Fucking birthday money. Yeah. But um anyways, like for real though, like if you're looking to grab your friend something and they're a fan of Death Doom Metal or, you know, Anatomia they might never have heard Druid Lord, or they might love Druid Lord and never heard Anatomia. This would be probably one of the better, unless you can get the new split with Undagong, which I don't have, sadly, but uh, yeah. Anatomia and Druid Lord together. This does not have its own title, but um, Druid Lord with Beyond Putrefaction and Anatomia with Horrid Fate on Gurgling Gore. Just look at that fucking festering pile of sentient goop. And the Reaper. I, I love this fucking little, this like devil skeleton dude back here. He's just hanging out. Fucking sick. And again, like, I think it's cool too, like, Japan's. Alright, this is very controversial. I prefer Anatomia to Coffins. But, but, this is one of my favorite Death Doom releases of all time. Mortuary in Darkness by Coffins. I'm actually going to listen to this bad boy. This was a great reissue. I don't even remember who did it. but I just remember... I think Razorback did the original CD. I need to get that fucker on vinyl. But um, again, Gurgling Gore just... BDG does not fucking play when it comes to the cassette cosmetics, like I said earlier. I I really like the cleanness of this shell being blank. And yeah. Again, though, if you're going to make an order right now from Gurgling Gore, I, I just uh, have to throw this in there. Just because, like... Alright, I don't know if pre-orders are available yet for this, but, like, you don't want to, to miss this. If you are a fan of, like, modern death metal, these guys aren't from the States, but, oh, they are very enjoyable, and if they were in the States, they would absolutely be devastating the competition. Like, if you're a fan of, like, I'm even going to say, like, fucking they're gothin. But, like, imagine Worm with, like, less, like, fanciness. Like, you know, get rid of a lot of the more, like, highbrow, funeral, doom, black metal-y aspect. And kind of just keep it bare bones, like, early Finnish influence Death Doom, and you get Troll Cave. This band legitimately, like, at first I was like, Troll Cave? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, that's a silly name, but, like, I was in a band called Skeleton Proof Tanks, so I can't call anything silly. But holy fuck, I had no idea this band had a demo. Their demo, I checked it out. Uh, oh, fuck, it's sick, but these four tracks on here, I think it's four tracks, I forget, oh wait, no, it's not four tracks, my bad, but, yeah, this is something, pre-order it, I don't know if there's a pre-order available, but, like, this is something you do not want to miss. So you got intro, fermented rot, unlocks hidden pathways, impious ensnarement at the life crypts, morbid scrying of diseased remnants, 
faked engravings in embalmed secretions and outro. And this is called ripping, I mean, rotting remnants dripping into the void. This is so fucking sick. I think these um, three maniacs are from Spain. And they definitely did their research and came up with one of the coolest. I mean, the dude's wearing an incoffination t-shirt. So I kind of was like, all right, this is going to kick fucking ass. And yes, I was absolutely correct. Troll Cave really, really pay homage to the gods of Funeral Doom and like Death Doom Metal from the early 90s. The cover is utterly Finnish and just weird. And they're not from Finland, which I think makes it even more awesome. Because that influence is just there and it's so on the money. Like, again, I'm like 99% positive Troll Cave is from Spain. If I'm wrong, I I'm sorry, but I know that these, I think, ship or maybe the pre-order is December 30th. But if you could pre-order this now, do it. Because, for real, um, yeah, it's fucking sick. But, um... Also, that's, you know, I would just, if you're going to place an order, you might as well grab more than one item. And if you're going to grab more than one item, make sure you grab the Druid Lord Anatomia Split. It's killer. And I think the only other way to listen to this is on a 7-inch. But I am not positive about that. It might be a 10-inch. I honestly don't know off the top of my head. But I do know that I love this Druid Lord song. And this is a great Anatomia song. Hard Fate. And again, I know Anatomia does a lot of splits. But, like, teaming up with Druid Lord really makes this one worth it. And it's just a killer Anatomia song. It's. You know, it's not like 14 minutes of, like, legit, like, you know, dismal fucking, you know, death doom. But it's got all the elements of anatomia that you fucking need. And I think it's interesting also to compare, like, some of their split material with, like, dissecting humanity. And, like, going back that way towards, like, you know... Decaying in obscurity. This is uh, the true goat grind version of Decaying in Obscurity. I've had this a while. I need Cranial Obsession on cassette. If anyone has a copy, please hit me up. I will. Uh, maybe I'll. Tr I, I don't know if I feel comfortable trading this bad boy. But I do have another version of Hollowed Cadaver, so I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But I love Anatomia. I really dig Druid Lord. And like I said, together, you can't really go wrong here. The only thing I could see people being like, wah, wah, wah about is the, the length. But that's, like I said... Two tracks, and unless you have a turntable, yeah, the only way to listen to these tunes, aside from digitally, is on cassette. And highly recommended. Thank you to BDG, Sheets Head Bay Colt, represent. And make sure you check out my album of the year, Horns and Hooves, I Am the Skell Messiah. And these new pull up long sleeve, I mean, these new pullover hoodies. Look how fucking sick that is. That's, I was telling my nephew, I was like, look, it's your initial Hudson. Uh, these really, really fucking nice. And this is just on a nice three sided 
badass. And like they uh sorry. You can get like the red pentagram hoodies. My dreads are fucking <laughs> getting in the way back there. Sorry. But um I don't know if they still have these beanies, but I fucking love 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 this sheep's head bay cult beanie. I wear it all the time. I, I I've been asked a couple times on the channel what beanie that is. It's sheep's head bay cult and the red beanie I have, that's sheep's head bay cult. So now you know. So yeah. Uh maybe I'll put a link in the video description. I, I will because I represent Sheep's Head Bay Cult and that had nothing to do legitimately with Horns and Hooves getting album of the year. Like seriously, I kind of told a few people in advance I was like, Look, uh I, I don't think anything's coming close, honestly, like full length album wise. No. I, I legit, like, I was trying really hard to find something that didn't seem like, oh, he just picked that because he's cool with those guys or something. No, no, no. I picked I Am The Skull Messiah because that's the record I have listened to the most in my car, at home, just in general. I'm so stoked, too, because my replacement LP's coming. I've never really got to enjoy it on vinyl. So, like, I'm fucking looking forward to playing that on the turntable so bad. I was listening to the Terminator soundtrack, but uh, we have some gnarly shit coming in the mail today. I uh, checked my informed delivery. And uh, we got some stuff a few days ago also that I didn't go over. So I'll probably make a collection update. But all I got to say is, yo, SFI recordings fucking rule. Oh, just a little teaser. Just a little teaser. Oh. And if you know what this is, oh my. Uh, I'm not even, yeah, I'm gonna wait for the rest of this shit to arrive. But, thanks for watching as always, you fucking rule. Again, can't really go wrong here. Florida's Druid Lord and Japan's Anatomia, two of Death Doom Metal's finest together. So, check it out on Gurgling Gore and fucking enjoy. Listen to Death Metal and bang your head for me because I can't physically do it anymore. Fuck a broken neck. Hails. Bloody.